Hey guys, it's BNL. Welcome back to Rayman 3. In the last part, we went into the uh, summit beyond the clouds, did a bit of hip snowboarding, and we've just fallen straight into the Hoodlum headquarters just immediately. So, that's a thing. This is... I mean, I know he's behind there. Is he? I don't have to switch. Where's the, where's the little teensy? Is there one up here? Oh, that's a light. Oh well. I don't know where he is. Anyway, so oh. So um, unlike the acid, which by the way, remember, remember I said the lava texture? It's not. It's not really goopy. You know what I mean? It's just kind of more, more, more viscous. Anyway, uh, we gotta figure out. Where Andre is, and we gotta beat the heck out of him. Beat the heck, because PG, I guess. Also, are we on part 11? Like, no, no, we're on 12. 12. We got some hot, harder rocket sections. Oh boy. There we go. Get that health bar a bit longer. How many is that? Is that, is that our 30th, Kinsey? Anyway, it gives us a bit of a red power, which is fine, because we need it in order to break this. Hit the switch. And it lowers the platform. I'm also going to grab this red power again, just so I can build up a charge. And just so I can walk up to this guy right here and wreck him in the face. Oh. Come on, you want to maybe take a hit? There you go. Only three hits. Not too long. There you go, this guy up here. Nothing too bad. You know what you know what it is. This is easy. Nice and easy. We got one little thing over here. Is this a little secret or is this the way to go? I also touched that lava and the health bar even showed up to indicate that. I believe that's actually where you gotta go. We gotta figure out how do we get that guy. You saw him. You saw him. You can hear him. He's still going. What did I tell you? Actually, I believe that's the way to go, in which case, it's over here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Hammer. Camera, I'm going over here. You can't fight it. So what's down here then? Ooh. Nice. And we gotta get that teensy. We gotta get the teensy. I see him. I can't ignore it. This area's design probably... Oh, you can't jump up there? Huh. This is the easiest way to get over there. A little ledge here. That's not a ledge. It's just a bit, a bit up from there. How do you, how do you get the height? You can't exactly. <laughs> okay, I didn't notice there was a guy there, but all right. Dude, there. Come on. How do you, how do you get the height to that? This is this is where my time goes. Oh, oh, making bacon. Oh, you can't keep going up. Can't keep going up. Is that a ledge I can stand on? Nope. Nope. I even hit the saw blade. Nice. I don't think that platform is really any. I'm unfortunately gonna have to ignore him because I don't really like wasting time. Unfortunately, this is this is why you guys can play this game so you can figure out how to get him. In in before. 
And before I uh, figure out how to get him, just like by going around here. Only a video game. It's only a video game. Please present yourself. Welcome. Anyway. Oh. So this one's a bit iffy because the the wizard, he's high up. You can't get him unless you try to take the ladder. <laughs> a bit of a troll. All right, so I remember this part from Half Life. So out we go. We gotta take out this dude. I don't know. Is this a bit of an elite guy? I think he is. You also have to deal with guys everywhere. This is a bit tricky because we got this dude up here. Um, who I scared away. Because, because this is land. Just some gems. That's always good. Gives you a good score in the end. I had a good run. I was doing alright. I got two Murphy stamps. Out of three at the beginning. I was like, yeah, I'm doing well. And then this is completely gone now. Now this is a bit tricky because you gotta deal with with these guys on tiny platforms. There's only two of them, I guess. It's that third one. That is the third one. The good thing about the whirlwind one is that they can't block it, which means you can still hit them straight with it. Oh, he just ran away. Nice. Alright, so we're gonna make a slightly slower climb again. There you go. Oh no. Okay, I'm I'm well qualified to do 3D platformers. You'd be pleased to know that the two next games I'm playing are RPGs, which means I can at least take my time a little bit. Got him. Got him. It's a little weird. That's okay. Oh, gems! So we've basically got a 2D platformer our way back up. There's a nice mix between 3D and 2D sections. So this, this is a bit interesting because you like how you're gonna dodge this dude. And not be able to throw this stuff. You also can't, uh, you can't put it down. Now here's the trick, you can actually see where these things land, it's a little, a little darker where they actually land. And that's how you gotta time it. This one kinda looks like I can just stand behind it. Anyway, that was it. Just have to get up there. With the incredible glued, please report to the welcome desk. <laughs> we got a little, little I can't see what I'm doing kind of thing going on here. That's the official term, the I can't see what I'm doing. Is that, is that, is that a term when a game introduces a mechanic and then it basically just obscures your vision, you have to go by, uh, I don't know, it's obscuring your vision like a gameplay strategy to increase challenge. Give them a wreck. Give him the one to wreck him in the face. I like how we also go through all of that just so we can hit a switch to get back up here. And then you're like, yeah, I, I can wreck him, but really what you've done is you've now brought the wizard to your own level. You fight on your own grounds. Give him, give him the old one two, knock him into the pit. So yeah. Is about to begin. Ooh. Cool. We get to meet the lady. Oh. <laughs> How you fall for something like that? Your friend has fallen into my trap, and soon it will be your turn. Soon it'll be your turn to fall into the trap. Anyway, we got a bit more jumping around. I know this this one map. Sometimes, sometimes the maps in this game are very 
very long and sometimes you know the shortest act like the uh the previous one the entire previous level give him the kick give him the one two i don't think the kick even does anywhere near as much damage there you go easy and that's it that's the level And it probably would be better if I got that other teensy. You know the one. You know, you know. We got a health bar. What? It's almost as if. Is there a boss? Well, even worse than a boss. You've got a lot of uh, hoodlums to deal with just on the on the get go. I'm on, I'm in I'm in range. Again. Uh, my health bar is getting pretty long though, so. The, the the longer your health bar is, the less you have to worry about stuff in this game. But honestly, I wouldn't say that this game is very hard in in particular. Also. Uh yeah, I it's it's not a it's not an incredibly hard game. Although the ending is definitely something that was a bit infamous with a friend of mine. And me because it just involves a lot, a lot of, a lot of reflexes. Let's just say. So anyway, you may be wondering, what's this health bar? Why do you, what do you need a health bar for? Well, good sir, the trick is to climb the platforms. Not hop on the conveyor belt. Okay, where are we going? Where are we going? Not up here. Not that. Not that. Gates closed. I swear there was something over here. Not like you can go back, because... You can go surprisingly far down. Uh, where are we going? I definitely know it's not like a door is supposed to open and I broke the game. The only thing I can think is this red tower is for opening. It's for punching the heck out of this guy, that's why. This one's a bit easier because this thing's a bit a lot more centralized. Also, I, I, this guy hasn't even turned up since level 4. As much as like they are reusing uh, mini-bosses and enemies, although not main bosses, which is fine. They don't actually seem to <laughs> reuse them a lot. I don't think that guy ever shows up again in the game. Rayman, over here, quick, untie me. Ah, that's what I was thinking. So anyway, so <laughs> he's got a switch. What you gotta do is you gotta do more, more rocket uh, shooting. You just flick the switch. Oh, wait a minute. Dear players, my surprise you to learn that your duty is to go to 816 polygons. Given that the god of mine's loot only contains 318 polygons, you can plainly see why I'm on the cutting edge of 3D technology. Help! That is probably something the developers felt very proud about, and then they decided to just pop it in the game like that. You can tell me you could have gotten that guy any other way. <laughs> Help! Help! More wizards, more wiz robes. You got, you got a bit of the hammering coming from my, uh, from my controller. Right? It's pretty solid. Like you can play this game while mashing the buttons like crazy. Little, 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 little. There we go. Anyway, uh, it's, it's the teensy. Oh, snap, that teensy is not even required. You gotta get him with uh, the one, two underneath. Huh. I have to go. 
I'm late to my drum solo. I'm, I'm late to my drum solo. All right. <laughs> Give that charge. Bam. Break down barriers. Please note that I'm also endowed with 23 formation bows and 68 animations, resulting in the kind of flexibility that comes in handy during combat and in war. In this elite guy has got a bit more health, so he always takes a bit more hits. Now this... This one, <laughs> you think it's these guys. Really? They're in these little holes. What's kind of interesting is that if I completely ignore this thing and decide to get jump in the viscous liquid, you could... Can you actually fix this? I swear you could. Nope, I guess not. They're just scenery, they're background decoration. Women as back background decoration, look at this background decoration, men! Come on, and he is Sarcassian, Sarkeesian. I don't even know. Why can't they just do that to make you worry? Stop you, hoodlum. We did it! And that guy's sitting up there. <laughs> Alright. We need that this green power because lots of enemies and you need more health. Anyway, I believe these are all the guys who are sitting in the back anyway. I swear I just saw a guy on the outside. It's a little weird, it is. Where do we go? Door's not open. Uh... Door's not open. Ah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> so you've got to stand here and then shoot the Rayman. Hey, glow box. But not Miss Pauline. Stand with a little bit of a better angle. I like it. It's a, it's a, it's a little nice. A little nice. Gets a bit harder, they go a bit faster. I did it! I'm the best. You can't deny that. Or can you? Maybe you can. So that was good. We did we got a bit of progress. <laughs> I'm gonna end the part off here because this seems like, you know, uh 18 minutes in, it's a pretty good spot to stop, I'd say. You have entered into the foundry, the Black Lums of Love it. <laughs> anyway, see you kids next time. Bye-bye!